Tony, we'll start with you. So my story starts in 2002. My youngest son, Aiden, was 14 months old at the time. And he'd had suspicious symptoms of diabetes, but being so young, every time I took him to the doctor complaining, um, there was always some other excuse for why he had those symptoms. Aiden ended up getting really sick to the point where I, it was a holiday weekend and I'd called the after hours clinic and let them know that it, you gave in all of their, his symptoms. She said, well, you know, he might have diabetes. You might want to bring him in. We'll have him tested. After asking, you know, his name and age, said, oh, children that young don't have diabetes. It might be something else. Bring him in and we'll check him out. Brought him in and he did have an ear infection. They wrote me a prescription and were ready to send me home. I refused to go home. I asked them to please do a blood sugar check. And they explained they just don't do that on that small of child. I insisted that they do a blood sugar check, and they did. It wasn't an easy task because Aiden was so dehydrated, they couldn't get any blood from his little fingers. They ended up having to poke his heel like they do with newborn babies. Um, they did get the blood sugar back, and it was off the charts. They couldn't even read it on their meter. They said they were going to call an ambulance and bring him directly to Children's. I, at that point, I'd lost all faith in their care, and I told him, no, thank you, I'd bring him myself. Um, I did. He was admitted in Children's right away, spent the first couple nights in ICU where they rehydrated him and slowly brought his blood sugars down. Um, the next few days, we learned how to treat diabetes and live with diabetes in our family. At the end, when they were ready to send us home, we met with a social worker, and she asked us about participating in research studies. I didn't know what all it entailed, so I asked a few questions and asked her what it was about and why I would want to participate. And she said, well, it's about research, trying to find new ways to treat diabetes and hopefully find a cure. Well, it's all over it. I signed up. Um, life went on. We learned to live with diabetes. But 18 months later, we were hit with another whammy. Um, my daughter, Heather, who at the time was 10 years old, um, was diagnosed with diabetes. Much different than Aiden, she didn't have a single symptom. We were visiting a pharmacy, and they were doing a meter uh, show where they were ch checking out new meters, and Heather wanted to do a blood sugar check so that she can get the little uh, free butterfly they were giving out. So I said, sure, we'll do it. And um, her blood sugar came back a little bit high, and the nurse said to me, you know, oh, she has diabetes. You're going to need to get her checked. Well, I told the nurse, of course, she doesn't have diabetes. You know, I knew everything about diabetes at that point. So, <laughs> And she didn't have a single symptom. On the way home, Heather was bugging me about it. She said, you know, Mommy, maybe we should call the doctor because this nurse might know something that you don't. <laughs> so I did. I called the doctor, brought her in the next day, and again, her blood sugar was a little bit high. And my doctor said, yeah, you should probably take her to Children's Hospital and have them do further tests. Well, I asked her, is there anything else that could cause a high blood sugar? And she said, yeah, there are a couple things. So we brought her to Children's, and they did an A1C test, which checks your blood sugar for a longer period of time and can confirm type 1 diabetes. But I asked them to do any other tests they could possibly do um, just to rule out the fact that maybe she had something else. I just didn't want her to have that sentence. So the nurse left the room agreeing to do the other tests, and Heather could see that I was about to lose it. And she just looked at me, you know, so small in that little bed, and said, you know, Mommy, it's OK. I can, I can handle this. And she did, true to her word. Um, the very next day, she was giving herself her own insulin shots. Um, she's been participating in diabetes research and advocating for diabetes. She was the 2012 National Youth Advocate for um, American Diabetes Association. And just this week, she met with Congressman Adam Smith to help um, raise funds for research for type 1 diabetes. Uh, my third son, Dylan, does not have diabetes, but he is very active in diabetes research. Um, this is an easy task for Dylan because he has a needle phobia, and most research studies, almost all of them, require a blood draw. Um, Dylan became involved with Benaroya when we were visiting the Amer uh, Diabetes Expo in Seattle. Benaroya had a booth there, and they were doing a family study. They'd asked us to participate, so we signed up. And I'll let Dylan tell you the rest of his story, but um, we have a lot at stake when it comes to research for diabetes, and we're very grateful for what Benaroya has been doing.